Good day everyone. Today's learning target is I can independently define and describe integers, flat integers, using a number line and evaluate absolute value of an integer. Integers, absolute values, and number line. First, we have to differentiate and identify the function of a whole numbers and natural numbers. To define that, natural numbers are also known as accounting numbers, meaning it includes 1, 2, 3, up to the infinity, and they are the numbers you usually count and they will continue on into infinity. Example of natural numbers are 1, 457, and 1,004. And to define the whole numbers, these are the simply numbers which includes all natural numbers with zero. Okay? So meaning it tells or these are zero, one, two, three, four, five up to the infinity. Now these are the example of whole numbers which include zero, seven, two hundred twelve, one thousand twenty-three are the example of whole numbers. But the numbers like 1 half, 1.1, and 3.5 are absolutely not an example of whole numbers because decimal and fractions are not a function or not an example of a whole number. Now, let us define an integer. Integers consist of all positive whole numbers and all negative whole numbers including zero. On a number line, positive integers are to the right of the zero, and the negative integers are to the left of the zero. So, meaning integers are consist of all positive, negative, and zero um, numbers. Okay, example of this, we have here the temperature, and the numbers below zero is a negative number and the number above a zero is considered as a positive number so this is one of the application of an integer that is why we are using an integer now what are the other real life applications of integers can you give one okay to identify that, we have here the weather forecast to so identify the temperature of the day by giving the temperature of the weather. We have the pressure. We have the elevator to number of floors wherein 1, 2 with the negative 1 and negative 2 is uh, represent the basement. And the positive 1 up to the upper part of zero is considered as the upper floor of the elevator okay we also have here uh, the speed limit and the cars and of course the temperature next give the correct use of integers in each given example so we have here negative i mean uh, 15 degree below zero that will be considered as negative because below zero is uh, considered a negative number so this will be negative 15 um, degree below zero next if we are talking about the profit um, that will be positive 500 when we are talking about the deposit in a bank which is about your um, personal savings account that you add 2,000 uh, pesos to your personal savings account meaning it's add okay so it's positive that is why this will be uh, as a positive 2,000 and we, when we are talking about loss of 55 pounds of weight meaning loss it indicates negative that is why this will be negative 50 Okay, negative 50 pounds. Now, let us define the absolute value. Absolute value is the distance of a number from 0 and usually denoted by the x through the line. 
where the symbol X is uh, any positive or a negative number. So remember, when we are talking about the absolute uh, value, it is referring to the distance of a number from zero. Okay, so we have here example, how will we compare the negative 5 and the positive 5? So we see here in the number line that both negative 5 and positive 5 has the same distance of 5 units from 0. That is why when we get the absolute value of negative 5, this will be 5 since it is a 5 units from zero so when we are talking about the absolute value it is the distance let's do it what is the absolute value of negative eight that will be eight okay because the integer is eight units away from zero that is uh, that is why when we count from zero to negative eight so one two three four five six 7, 8. Okay, thus the absolute value of negative 8 is equal to 8. Next, what is the absolute value of negative 6? The integer is 6 units away from 0. That is why when we count from the 0 starting point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, the absolute value of negative 6 is equal to 6. Next question, which has a greater, uh, greater value? So we have the absolute value of negative 10 or 8. Okay. To explain that, even without the use of a number line, we can identify that negative 10 is 10 units away from 0 and 8 is 8 units away from 0. That is, the absolute value of negative 10 is 10 and the absolute value of positive 8 is 8. That is why uh, the greater um, distance from 0 is 10. How to solve the following word problem? So I have here the problem number on letter A. Two bosses A and B left the station at the same time and traveled at different speed in opposite directions. After one hour, bus A was 20 km to the left of the bus station and bus B was 24 km to the right of the station. The question is, what is the total distance between bus A and bus B? So, as a word problem, you have to, you have to identify the given values, which is in bus A, we have 20 km from to the left and the bus B a 24 km to the left of the station and the station this will be our zero in the number line. Step 1 What is the first step in finding the distance between bus A and bus B? Step 1 Illustrate the problem using a number line to locate the bus A and bus B. So I have here my number line negative 20 and positive 24. After drawing or um, illustrating the problem using a number line, let us find the distance of bus A and bus B in absolute value. We need the needed distance. So we have to add the distance of bus A and bus B. So to illustrate in absolute value, we have negative 20 plus 24. Since um, addition is our operation that we will go into use because we need to find the total distance. That is why when you get the absolute value, 20 plus 24 is equal to 44. So the final answer is a 44 is kilometer is the total distance between bus A and bus B. So that is the integers and the third problem solution related to integers. I hope that you learned today. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.